Oh, you're using Pelagius? Oh, I actually have Pelagius. Oh, wow, you're <laughs> cheating, bro. Bro, is your hospital good? Oh my god. It hey, has just a for whole 20,000 troops in there, bro. It okay. almost got full. My shit, I'm being zeroed right now. Pretty even. Nah, bro, I'm better. Dub is yeah, so bad, bro, that even with the Lion's Tech, I'm even still Even with ass. the Lion's Tech, bro. We gotta run it back one more time. What the hell? Wondering how to get VIP points in Rise of Kingdoms? One way to start getting VIP is logging in, claiming the daily rewards top left of your screen under your power. Every day at reset, claim rewards like the VIP points each day, but there is a limit of 200 when reached a certain amount of consecutively logged in days. Another efficient way to get VIP points is by joining an active alliance that has low spenders or even for your sake, some whales that can provide the alliance with chests that potentially will give some VIP points either through the poopy wooden chest or even the juicy golden chest. So there's another way you can get VIP is through the peerless scholar final exams. Not bad from your uh, alliance being smart, right? One of the efficient ways to get VIP points is waiting for the more than gems event where you can spend a total of 300 up to 25,000 gems to get extra rewards. What I would recommend as a low spender or free to play player is at least spend up to the 7,000 gems in total just so you can get those five gold heads. But for the sake of this video, I will be spending 25k gems on the VIP points. So right now we have currently five 5,000 VIP points, which we will have to buy VIP point for more than gems. Now buy five more, which will put us up to 10 5,000 tokens of VIP. Now we can collect the reward for the more than gems event. Get those rewards, five gold heads, eight total of 13 gold heads for 25,000 VIP points because this is what I do every more than gems at least get to that 7,000 gems like I said which now that gave us more gold heads gives us a total of 62 which now we can progress towards our commanders if we needed to which I'll probably upgrade Nevsky for 50 gold heads trying to get the last ability just because it's better Another way to get VIP points is by creating one or multiple farm account and joining a active alliance that can rank in events, especially the one called Clarine Call, where your alliance has to rank top 20 in order to get rewards. The rewards are nice and all, but the only thing we are looking for are the alliance credits. After getting the alliance credits, they will convert into tokens that can be redeemable in any alliance. What I like to do is already have an alliance created that is owned by one of my farms. So I'm join the alliance that i've already created which is 36c owned by one of my farm accounts rockstar w farm as we can see in the shop there are only 49,400 alliance credits we then pop those tokens from the farm account which then gives us another 40,000 alliance credits adding it to 89,400 and what you can do is go on every farm account and do that go to shop 89,000 currently have 25 of those alliance credits which gives us 214,400 alliance credits go to the other farm and we're going to leave this alliance yes going 36c we have currently 10 which is 50,000 alliance credits use those go to shop we have currently 264,400. And then what you can do is then leave the alliances with all your farms, join back the active alliances so you don't miss out on any of the events, such as the Claron call, which is very important as you can see that requires an active alliance, right? Now we swap to our main account. As you transfer the leadership to your main account, which you don't have to, I like to do it just so I have full control on the main account. Give leader to your main account, which is Rockscar Farm. 68 million power we log it back into the main also more ways to get alliance credits is by donating to the alliance technology so as you can see we have 264,400 
soon as we donate all 20 of these go to the shop again now we have 269,900 just for donating which is not bad another way to get credit over time with your farm account to farm those alliance credits is donating to the alliance tech it could be in any of these does not matter so i'm on the main account 68 million power we're going to go to the settings you can go to anyone could join i go to application needed just in case some troll comes in not sure you know how rise of kingdoms is people just randomly attack farms for whatever reason join alliances da 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 just in case so someone doesn't come in and swoop all the items in your shop but then we're gonna go to our shop on our main profile and put all the credits or however many credits you want to use from your alliance inventory which i'm going to max it out at 17 the most we can do 255,000 in credits so we're gonna restock that buy it on our main account all 17 which then we use 850,000 individual credits which now gives us 17 vip tokens at 100 giving us 1700 vip and another way to get vip is by using all your gems but what i'm gonna do is max out all our vip points use these tokens boom five 250s vip tokens we just got 17 100 which is 1700 then the 10 5000 vip points that we got from more than gems so that's 50,000. we're gonna pop our gems which now leads us to 979,000 VIP. This is not an efficient way to get VIP points, but since I'm so close, I'm just gonna spend gems into VIP. So we're gonna do five, 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 which is 15, 20, and then we do 800, which is five, one, two, three. Now we're VIP 15 in rise of kingdoms my first main account we can actually use tier 5 efficiently by getting these buffs now we can claim the chest three gold head still gold key we get more tombs of knowledge wood stone and gold tokens but what we do get is the gathering speed goes up by five percent each stat though is gathering speed is 30 percent action point recovery 30 percent building speed is now 20 percent major upgrade which is the hospital capacity 30 percent which is insane march speed increased by five percent healing speed is 50 percent training speed is 20 percent and action point limit is plus 100 anything new in the vip shop though i think now we could get level five reserves if i'm not wrong I'm not sure i think so those are new now we have about 500,000 more vip to go how to get individual credit in rise of kingdoms you can start by registering with an alliance that is active for ark of osiris another way to get individual credit is by helping escort a caravan in silk road which has the possibility of giving individual credits the last efficient way to get individual credit is help build a one troop flag or alliance fortress keep in mind there is a daily building credit limit of 20,000. Before we jump into bundles, huge shout out. Thanks to Rognute for the current footage. The Dolphin or Kraken bundles I would recommend to spend money on. First would be the Lucerne Scrolls, which is the season pass either for $5 or $20 if you are a baller. The amount of VIP points it gives up to is 5,000, more than $5 if you were to buy from the gym store. Plus, getting extra rewards like gold heads, gems, and armament chest is not too shabby. Second, I item i would recommend from the supply depot the 30 day gym supply for the first time purchase of five dollars and ten dollars each month after which in total is twenty one thousand seven hundred gems last but not least the daily bundle is a good purchase for vip points as well for the progression of your commanders over time with the luck from opening those daily treasures also getting basic action point recoveries can be used towards kvk barbs which can possibly get gems and gems are turned into vip points How can you get gems in Rise of Kingdoms to progress towards VIP level as free to play? The first way to get gems is from completing most of your daily objectives until you hit the 100 point reward, which then will give you 100 gems, magic chest, and keys. Second way to get gems is look at the event calendar to see which events are upcoming that will reward gems. Events like Lord of War, where you will have to gain troop power, which is obviously from training troops. Game of Power is another good event where 
where you can upgrade buildings, technology, or even train troops to gain power and earn rewards. These events will require a rank in order to get gems, so make sure your placement is where you feel comfortable. The event I personally find easy to rank in is the Strategic Reserve, so that is another option for easy gems, just from chain farming or attacking barbarians, which is also a great way to get gems. What I've noticed is the level 20s and higher will drop gem tokens more frequently than the lower levels. The last event I try ranking for is the Mightiest Governor, even if it's for the top 50 overall and top 10 in some stages, just to make up the gem difference for the low placement overall. If you are active, farming gems on your main account is not bad. Commander pairs I recommend to farm gems is Joan of Arc with Constantine, Sion, Diok with Matilda, Cleopatra with Sarka. The gear I would recommend is Forest of the Guardian, including all four pieces of the gear that give the extra resource gathering bonus, as well with the Bollard Pendant, giving an extra 5% resource when gathered. One of my main gem supply as a low spender close to free to play is always going to be the Iron Hand Ballers. This is a great way not to only get gems, but the amount of other rewards like materials, keys, speed ups, and action point recoveries are very useful. As always, thanks for watching the video. Hope you did enjoy. Much love, take it easy, and peace.